Big Bend, Texas. All we can say is wow. Recently, we were in Big Bend State and National Parks, and boy, were they spectacular. If you don't have Big Bend on your RV bucket list, you need to put it there. We're going to tell you about four great campgrounds and some amazing hikes. Enjoy. We started with three days in Big Bend Ranch State Park. This park is sometimes overlooked because it's of its famous National Park neighbor, but don't overlook it. It's great. In fact, let us start with a quick plug for the Texas State Park System in general. We stayed in quite a few Texas parks this winter, and they were uniformly excellent and well run. If you plan to stay in more than one Texas State Park in the next 12 months, be sure to get a Texas State Pass. It will save you quite a bit of money. Be advised that none of the campgrounds at either the state or national park in Big Bend has hookups, so come prepared for that. Okay, the first thing to know about Big Bend Ranch State Park is how to book a site. For some reason, the process for this particular park is a little quirky. First of all, know that the vast interior portions of the park will not accommodate anything bigger than a truck camper or maybe a short four-wheel drive sprinter. So for the rest of us, we're limited to the so-called River District, which is okay because the park road along the canyons overlooking the Rio Grande is a fabulous drive. When you book your site, you need to go to the web page for the Barton Warnock Visitor Center and scroll down to the link for River District Reservations. Here's the tricky part. If you do what you would normally do and filter by RV sites, it's going to tell you there are none. This is a quirk and I confirmed it by phone. Instead, select any site instead of RV site and then select one of the four campgrounds I've highlighted here. All of these four will accommodate Class B RVs. Note that you are reserving a spot in a particular campground, but not a specific site. Once you check in at either of the park's visitor centers and arrive at your campground, you will pick from whatever sites are empty. For this reason, you will want to bring a sign or something inexpensive you can leave in your site if you take a drive, so people will know it's occupied. We camped in the upper Madeira campground and grabbed site number one. It was, in our opinion, clearly the best of the sites at that campground with this spectacular view. One heads up, at certain times of year, and depending on how much rainfall the park has received, the River District can have its fair share of tiny biting gnats, so come prepared. From our campsite, it was a short drive to some great hikes, including the popular Closed Canyon hike seen here. We also took a drive into the park's interior for some great desert scenery and a nice hike. Be forewarned, however, that the road into the interior district is a long, washboarded dirt road, so it is a slow-going drive. After our three days in the state park, it was off to nine glorious days in Big Bend National Park. If you have the time, we really recommend doing what we did, which was to camp at all three of the park's developed campgrounds. This allows you to see all areas of the park. First up for us was Cottonwood Campground in the park's southwest corner. As the National Park Service website explains, this is a remote campground in a remote park. It was beautiful with great sunrises and sunsets and resident woodpeckers and a great horned owl. There are some great hikes in this area of the park. Here you see the very popular hike into Santa Elena Canyon the deepest gorge of the Rio Grande. Another is the chimney trail across beautiful desert terrain to a rock formation with petroglyphs that are thousands of years old. Next up is the Rio Grande Village campground in the park's southeast corner. Unlike Cottonwood, here you will find both a dump station and a water fill and a camp store with laundry and coin-operated showers. So this is your chance to fill up and clean up. In the campground, you'll see Squadron of Javelina and plenty of roadrunners. A short hike will take you to an amazing vantage point for sunrises and sunsets. A short drive and a short hike will take you to these fabulous hot springs on the bank of the Rio Grande. 
While we were there, a couple of horses from a ranch on the Mexico side wandered over for a visit. Finally, we were off to the Chisos Basin Campground in the park's Chisos Mountains. You will be thankful you have a Class B because no rigs over 24 feet are allowed here. This area is nothing short of spectacular. Area hikes include the amazing hike to the window and the equally spectacular Lost Mine Trail. The Chisos Basin Campground also has a privately run lodge with a restaurant and bar, if by this time you're craving a night out. So, in conclusion, go to Big Bend and stay for a while. It's a bucket list national park for sure. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and see all our past and future videos. We hope you found this helpful and we'll see you next time here at Amore Van.